We're back and we're live with game two of Vici Gaming versus For Love. I'm LDFB on the summit. I'm joined here today by Winter, Winter, and currently it's Vici Gaming leading this best of three, one to zero. They are already one and zero in terms of their overall record in the Dota 2 Super League. The one million RMB finally got it right. Prize pool tournament, the biggest Dota 2 tournament outside of the International 2013, which, oh, by the way, just got done, topping $2 million in total prizes. So huge shout out to the community. If you have not already purchased a compendium to support esports, and more importantly, just to support all the players, the pros, and uh, the team at Valve that have made this wonderful game possible, you definitely should consider it. I have, I know most of the people I know have as well. I think even Winter got his compendium today, and Winter, I saw you were really having some trouble penciling in your predictions. And I think I'm also having trouble unmuting you. No, you're unmuted. Winter, are you there? Oh, sorry, I, I muted myself. Okay, <laughs> it's always one of us. <laughs> this time it's not me. Yeah, and you look at the how for love open up this time they have the shadow demon which can be one of the very aggressive supports if they are look they are looking to start early smoke gangs shadow demon is the perfect hero to start early aggression yeah they get the shadow demon early they don't have that follow-up stun though something like alina or leshrac and you got to imagine vici gaming are going to be all yeah about and, those. and they snatch up the clockwork for themselves already they also secure a dark seer which truth be told I'm a little surprised to see that here because you look at what Vici Gaming has. Lone Druid does very well laying against that hero. It's, it's a combination, LD. You put the Iron Shell on a Juggernaut and he spins and there's an Iron Shell and a Leaf Fury damage on the target. I know, but it's a that's a pub combination, man. That's not something you build a giraffe That's around. not a pub combination. That actually works. It's very painful. It deals a lot of damage. Are they really going to try lane a Darkseer, a Juggernaut, and a Shadow Demon? Is that what you're expecting? It Maybe not a trial lane, but it will somehow come to play into play during the fights and after the t after the laning phase. Well, we'll because see. Because I, I I don't think they'll be laning together, like you said. <laughs> we'll see. I I feel Entangle and Cogs are gonna make this lineup for Four Love very dicey. Let's see how it develops though. And that being said, Vici Gaming now well into the bands. They'll ban the the Wisp in the second stage. Something that is pretty common for the Chinese teams. They'll almost never first ban a Wisp, but. Depending on your draft, if they feel like they're susceptible to it, they'll be happy to ban it in the second stage, and we see that here. Would you believe me if I tell you all the Chinese teams have been using this in screens lately? I, I would, because we've already seen it in official matches. Vici Gaming's run it. Rising Stars obviously have been running it. Uh, I don't know if I've seen any of the other teams. But... I, I think almost every team runs it now. It's still not at the same status as it is in the Western scene. It's not first ban status. It's not first pick status. But it's a flavor of the month, at least for them. And I guess my question for you is: Do you think it'll ever achieve that I, top pick I, status? I don't think. I don't think it will just be a flavor of the month. To be frank, I think it will be continued to keep, be viewed as a viable pocket strat or something like what Ehome did in the last TI2, where it's a strat that they feel comfortable with, and they said it in in an interview interview that it's only it's that with the Whip's tiny drop, they are able to beat teams that are stronger than them. Let's see what they go for from here. They're, the Alchemist, the Rubik, have been banned out. On the side of Vici Gaming, worried about a very potent, aggressive trialing. They'll ban out a Visage, seconds, uh, which is a hero that we oh. don't see too much of nowadays. Gyrocopter. I, I think I've seen Visage the, from Rattlesnake, right? Yeah, they use it a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. I, carry, I, I don't carry, think I carry caught visage, that game. Carry Visage. Well... I guess for love of room for a carry, so what do you know? Maybe they think that's the case, and they'll ban out a gyro as well. Stalker. Night Stalker is going to be the choice, so a very aggressive face rush lineup. Long, long lost hero. Well, now they have a really suitable hero to put the Ion Chill on. This is starting to look like IG back in G1 League Season 4. Just all these aggressive tower diving melee tanks. I, I think they will do something like a Darkseer on a safe lane. They'll put the Darkseer up against the Lone Druid. And the ag aggressive trialing with Shadow Demon, Juggernaut, and one more follow-up stun. And Night Stalker will be able to abuse the fact that they have such a strong... Oh, Night Stalker, Bounty Hunter. IG time. Bounty Hunter's the final pick. Full on. Face Rush coming it's, your way. It's, it's a Darkseer, Juggernaut, Shadow Demon lane. It, it's going to be a try lane with these three. How well is it going to work? That's the interesting question. Vici oh, Gaming have a cogs. They have a oh, lot of they stuns. Would put a Shadow Demon Juggernaut on the safe lane. Darkseer Jungle. Bounty Hunter off lane. Nice Stalker Miller. 
That would be the greedier way to lane it, and the problem with that is just that Vici Gaming uh, are going to get a lot of levels. You said it's a pop strat if they do it in a tri lane. <laughs> Five seconds remaining. Let's see. Shadow Demon Juggernaut Dax here. Let's see where we go from here for Vici Gaming. They've already got a couple of stuns. They're waiting with Shrax fan. And what's going to come out next? They have a lot of control. And I feel the Cogs could be the absolute bane of 4 Love's existence this game. Yeah. They have four Cogs, melee heroes. So, so troublesome for the melee heroes to deal with. There's actually, in the fights, there's no way you can try and hit someone without being knocked back by the Cogs. If the Cog lord lands his position in a well, well, well time manner, Let's see where they go. They already have those two supports, the Lone Druid, the Clockwork. You expect those to be the solos, and they need... Well, it's either... It's a farm meets fan, then. Who is going to try lane who? <laughs> well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised to see that it's a farming fan, but something that's a little bit uncommon nowadays. The Sven pick in general, but they get that plus armor, and against the amount of physical damage coming their way from For Love, seems like a pretty decent choice. Yeah, I totally agree on the fact that the wall cry will help a lot against the Night Stalker and Bounty Hunter. So with that being said, let's introduce the teams on the side of Vici Gaming. We have CTY going to be reprising his roles, the solo mid. He'll be taking the clockwork there. Let's see what he can do. The last time we saw his clockwork, it was a spectacle to behold. ZSMJ going to be playing that lone druid heading towards the top lane. He's going to be left to his own devices as Vici Gaming will go aggressive with their own triple lane. Fenrir on the Jakiro. XTT handling the Sven and FY on the Lashrak. And I think it's safe to call this Stun City. Yeah, and for follow we have you on the Bounty Hunter, 8k on the Solar Meat Night Stalker. The, the tri lane would be by Kyo, Juggernaut, Zippo on the Shadow Demon, and Darkseer by Hanji. And Darkseer's item seems like he's going to the lane. Well, he's already skilled Iron Shell. Didn't even sit on that skill point at all. And fortunately for him, doesn't get caught. Or that could have easily been hmm. the first blood. He bought something for his team. Let me see what did he buy. He... I think he bought the career. Well, Darkseer is a pretty good farmer in the jungle, and truth be told, they don't really have another support, so it's going to be a four-position Darkseer, which... Yeah, I think they're going to do it the greediest way, like you said just now. Which means... Darkseer, jung Darkseer jungle. Which means... Actually, the question is, has ZSMJ been pulled any Sentry Wards? And the answer is no. So, it's going to be a slightly easier lane for the Bounty Hunter than it otherwise could be. Still going to be tough for him to actually harass the Lone Druid too much, but we'll see what he can get accomplished. So then it's a tri-lane versus... A Juggernaut Shadow Demon, and frankly, I don't know how they fight a kill in this tri lane. When you're up against Blade Fury, there's no instant stuns, which means he can always get the Blade Fury off. Unless he makes a mistake, or Leshock stuns him from a hidden spot. Right, but as long as he's got the vision or has good anticipation reaction, should not die here. And it all comes down to Zippo as well, not to yeah, get one. Oh, they're gonna, well, oh. immediately it's a Storm Ball to the face, will be disrupted. Oh, very good That's play by gonna the split up an Ice Path, but no, he turns around with the Blade Fury. Really should be running in the end, Kaya will be able to back I, off. I, I thought it would have been, the, the Ice Path will clip him right He come, right when he comes up from the destruction instead of the spin coming up first. Well, I was wrong. he gets it off in the end and will survive. I think he probably would have lived there anyway, but would have been close. Instead, not that close. Meanwhile, middle lane. Yeah, mid, mid lane is going to be difficult for the Night Stalker. Like, like we discussed just now, where the melee heroes are having a hard time with the cogs. He's already out of mana. Well, 8k sitting at level 2 currently. And like you said, it's going to struggle a bit. In fact, CTY is manning up now. Oh, if he had battery salt, would have gone for first blood. But he'll wait for a better opportunity. And then the off lane. You versus the SMJ. This is it'll, not a good de lane. Depend on how early does the. Uh, Lonju gets his sentries out to deal with the bounty hunter. There's nothing on the courier, so it looks like if there are going to be sentries, it's not anytime soon. And he doesn't have enough yet. He bought something else. He bought a orb of venom, so he doesn't have enough for a sentry yet. Well, by the time he does get them out, it's in a sense not going to have been too late. But the damage is done because you, well, he's yeah, already going to be nice. easily level four before any sentry wards arrive, which frankly is pretty damn good for your offlane bounty hunter, especially in that matchup. Don't Bottom lane, we'll see Hansi. Look to try and contest a rune, but it will go the way of FY, who picks up a DD rune. And at 4 love, they're getting to pull. They're getting to farm their Darkseer in the jungle. He's already hit level 3. They're getting experience on their bounty yeah. hunter. This is really good for them. Darkseer is coming to support the lane as well. And this could catch Vici Gaming by surprise. Looking at their vision right now, they don't have... They're, they're going to try to make something work with the Iron Shard and Blade 3. Oh no, and look at this poor Jakiro. He's deployed an Observer War. Oh, here we go! 
Disruption to start, Iron Shell and Blade Fury to follow. Here comes the damage, as well as the Soul Catcher on top of Look it. Look at the damage. And there's Look no at... supports in sight. XTT is gonna drop. Well, that was really unfortunate. FY was making a foray towards mid, and while that was happening, Jakiro was placing Observer Ward behind the lane, but unfortunately, Fenrir had just rot or Hansi, sorry, excuse me, had just rotated in already, so they just missed him. Yeah, so much damage. Blade Fury, Iron Shell, plus the Soul Catcher, so much damage. He was at full HP and he died. You, you got to figure if they had that Observer Ward up already, that wouldn't have happened, but just didn't get it out in time. Yeah, that Observer Ward was very crucial. And in fact, I think could have even gotten off of Split Earth and probably saved his life as well, because Kaio was waiting for a disruption to end. So if either support was there, I think he yeah, would have lived. She, she was waiting for the Sven to run to a position where there's less creep oh, so that man. his soul catcher is easier Z to land. ZSMJ really struggling to this top lane. No sentries for him, and he's not level 5 yet, which means you going to trade as much as he can right now. Has level 2 shriek and toss almost enough to go for a kill there. But if not he quite. gets one more hit, the toss would have killed him. Yeah, he just didn't quite have enough. Does 200. Battle, battle of the Orb of Venom, LD. Both have both heroes have all of Venom now. ZSMJ still not level 5. Now he's got his sentries, but I feel the damage is really already done. And towards the top. Oh, right? I don't think he sees it. Oh, he wasted his south because he doesn't know that ZSMJ has a sentry already. There's an invis rune. CTY will pick it up. We'll head back towards the middle lane. It's a dangerous lane for Night Stalker. As tanky as he is, is a matchup where he can be brought down if he gets caught. And meanwhile, if you look at the CS, he's losing out so so badly to the court work. Well, normally a Night Stalker mid, he just relies on spamming Void to farm creeps, but can't do it when you're out of mana. And actually, yes, doesn't right. he does have his bottle, but no uh, no boots on the way yet. Look at that, so annoying. Well, now it's almost just overkill because there's no actual mana to burn, but CTY is gonna throw it out there anyway. <laughs> Yeah, he's dominating him so hard. This is going to be one of the crucial factors on deciding who gets to control the mid game first. If Clockwork dominates the Night Stalker hard enough, he's able to delay the support the Night Stalker is going to give his team, and Clockwork will be the one controlling the tempo. Let's see where they go. For the time being, VG Gaming is offensive tri laning. They gave up a kill there. They're not doing anything to shut down the dual lane of Four Love. We see Kale already with boots and a wand up and level 4 at that. Zippo, level 2. Darkseer farming freely in the jungle. Everywhere you look for love, except for that middle lane, is getting a lot more than you would really want them to be getting if you're Vici Gaming. Sure, we're seeing... Uh, I think I think even the Bounty Hunter is having a tough time now after the sentries is de delivered for him, for right. the lone group. Right, but he's level 6 at 5.5 minutes as an offlane Bounty Hunter. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, but it's a one versus one matchup. I don't think the Lone Jude can do anything to completely zone him out of XP zone. And then the question becomes, what will 4Love do with these early levels? You imagine we'll see a rotation from you. He has his boots already. I think he's going to try and move and try to get a gang started. Well, they could use the help, because 8K is not doing a whole lot middle lane, and Darkseer yeah. lurking bottom again. I, I, Iron Shell on the Bounty Hunter is something very potent as well. He's got to have something on this carrier, and indeed it looks like... He's got boots and a bottle, so has some decent items coming his way. For the time being, for love, continue to sit back and play defensively. Take your first yeah. look at the golden. Hey, they want girls. to make something happen at bottom lane. The Dox is camping behind the Juggernaut. Well, or maybe they're expecting Vichy Gaming to go on them, but neither is happening right now. Hey, Stern. But it's it's very difficult to go on the Juggernaut. You mentioned their spells can't really hit the Juggernaut faster than his split. Here uh, comes CTY, speed. haste towards the middle lane, looking for AK. Little does he know there's a bounty hunter oh, there's lurking a bounty hunter. here. Where's the cogs? Won't find them just yet. He's looking. He's lurking. He'll find them oh, now. Oh man, that split earth follows through. FY is going to start dropping real quick. That's a disruption by Zippo. Keeps him alive. Oh, going to miss. A rare miss from CTY. Now on the run. He should be able to get out of here with this haste turn, but in the end, they find the kill and they don't give one up. Beautiful play by 4Love and Again in game two, it's sort of that same story as game one, where they start off with the better rotations across the map. It's, it's the strategy wise. In the first game, it was the Earthshaker blocking the creeps on the off lane, resulting in the anti mage getting less farm. In this game, it's Iron Shell plus Wait Fury. We only saw that combo once. We haven't really seen it since then. Instead, they're just jungling and playing pretty defensively. and. They're not getting much farm on it, anyone. It's also because of VG playing very cautiously at the bottom lane after what happened the first time out. They knew they would, they would be able to kill the Sven, even the Sven is full health. Well, they may be playing cautiously, but they're getting a lot of farm. This Sven is actually our lead farmer, 36 and 12. Keo, 
13 and 0. The only hero that's actually farming the, well on... The first the first three heroes are all VG heroes. Yeah, the only hero that's farming well is Hansi. And, I mean, that's just in terms of CS. A lot of those are neutral creeps. You look at his net worth. It's actually the bounty hunter who leads the way with that one track hill. Nobody is getting a whole lot on For Love. In terms of gold, in terms of experience, I, they're I doing pretty well. I think that's, that's the reason why they... Why I said at the start, it would be difficult if they run the Dark Sea as a jungling hero because that would severely weaken the lanes and but it's a greedy 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 way to put their lanes but it also comes to the midpoint where the track goal how is the track goal going to help them claw back in in terms of what they lost in the lane the cs track will be very very crucial for them i don't really feel they've done enough economic damage yet eventually vichy gaming gets to this point where I th they have a very strong five man. I, I would say a much stronger five man. Yeah, the way to counter Bounty Hunter Night nice Stalker is to five man and push every single tower to avoid giving out opportunities to the Night Stalker and Bounty Hunter to gang your team. And there's exactly one hero who's good at dealing with that, and that's Hansi. But he's a four position Darkseer who isn't really farming straight for a big item like a, a mech that will help the team. He's gone boots and bottle. As a result, any sort of team fight contribution will be somewhat neutered. Which means oh, even shit. more pressure. They're gonna smoke LD, they're gonna smoke and find a kill. Which means even more pressure for them, as you you mentioned, the smoke is coming. Uh, to make something Popping. happen here in the laning stage. They'll but pop BG darkness. is ready for the smoke gang. They are all behind ZSNG. They have a sentry this is gonna be bad. Oh, there's an entangle on you to start things off, but they're diving the tower right at the moment when the stun comes in, and now the void onto ZSMJ. The chase is on. There's a lot of macro fire damage, or rather dual breath damage from VG Gaming. Can they find the kills? Not just yet, no entangles. The bear will be pulled back. ZSMJ on the way out in the end. Nobody aside from that Night Stalker will go down. Five heroes are at top for VG. Oh, Hulk comes in. CTY wants a secondary kill. He'll find it on Hansi. Teleport is here from our Juggernaut, but it's going to be Fight teleporting back. into the middle of the entire enemy team. Will he get stunned? He won't. Able to get the Blade Fury off just in the nick of time. Now entangled. He got, he got rooted. rooted and in a lot of trouble. He'll get blown up. Rocket blings him, brings him down, and now they're going to take a tower on top of it. The face rush lineup is getting face rushed, and it doesn't feel too good. Yeah, Darkseer bite out and got nothing. Juggernaut teleported in and died. They lost so much in that fight. And again, we mentioned the one hero that can deal with the 5 man is the Darkseer. So him dying and having to buy back. And playing a support role and now purchasing... Well, he'd actually purchase the Sentry Ward. Scratch that. He needs but. to get a few more levels up before he can contribute to the fights. He needs levels. He needs items too. Because they have enough damage to chain stun him and kill him easily. 800 health is nothing against a Hulk, Cogs... Stormbolt, Split Earth, and a Lightning Storm, and all of Jakiro's nukes on top of that. He will die from full health to nothing. Yeah, but they don't have space to give him because the other carries are all so far behind. Because of the weak laning, laning phase their heroes have, they don't really have a lot of last hits. And 10 minutes in, you have Bounty Hunter and Night Stalker, and you only have 2 kills. That's not what you want. You know, it really feels like maybe they should have just done more rotations in the laning stage. If they didn't want to go aggressive tri lane, I think that's okay, but seeing something like the Darkseer heading towards the middle lane, maybe ganky bottom again, he just, he tried to find a few opportunities, but in the end, they only really found one, and sure, you get that first blood on Sven, but he was still farming in the lane. They were still winning their other two lanes in terms of farm, so it just doesn't feel like 4Love's got it up out of the lanes. Yeah, I think it's safe to say they lost all their lanes, except for the fact that they have a dark Darkseer jungling. That's that's not fair, Winter. They won they won the jungle. Darkseer definitely took <laughs> those neutral creeps and slammed them down. But yes, it does seem like they lost the laning stage. In comes they, they need to create gangs. That's the only way they can claw back to the it's game. It's hard. You gotta figure everyone of each game has a TP who matters. CTY's got one, XTT's got one, and FY's got one, so pretty much all of your core sort of counter initiators have a TP at this point. This is the reason why the Night Stalker bounty yeah. hunter strat fall favor because every team has been starting XTT. to do five men, five men against him. Oh, bottom lane. They're hunting him He's with the iron shell. It's a four hero initiation, but that's a three hero storm. But where's the follow up? Where's oh, well, the backup? Omni is here. They'll cancel that TP. Cancel his TP. And they'll go for a tier one top. I think a good choice in the end. They just weren't going to get there in time. Zippo now, if he gets entangled, he will fall. Will he Will he be rooted? He'll walk into the trees, delay, perhaps the inevitable. Has a tango. It's gonna try and eat his way even farther back. The bear pulled back in the end, so they get the tier one, but they are fours back, and now four love comes in. There's your hook from CTY, catches out Hansi, but this is a dangerous Darks here. Maybe not. Look at the first damage. He does just absolutely melt. And AK charges in. Well, sort of lumbers in, not actually committing to a fight just yet. 
When it's all said and done, you rate it up and it's just a big lead for Vici Gaming. They do dip slightly in terms of their gold advantage, but all things considered, are still having a comfortable lead. Yeah, if they continue to take down the remaining towers with their five men and the lone jute, I think that's going to spiral out of control in the next 10 minutes. And what if they can't win a fight for, for love, I mean, if they can't win a fight when VG comes and fight at the tower, they're going to lose the game. Winter, see, here's the question. What are they going to do against this lone druid? Because they have four melee heroes, and they don't really have a mate. They have good physical DPS in the early to mid game, but nobody's farming items, which means yeah, an arm like bear is, is going to be very hard to kill. Yeah, the thing is, they are all not farming. They are all very low in terms of CS, and track isn't helping them much. They have only three kills, and I think only one of them has track. I just don't know what they're going to do with Warcry as well. This bear will be insanely hard to bring down, and they're not even forced to pop it yet. They'll just be chipping away at the tower. And once you look at XTT maybe getting a BKB, even a Drums of Endurance, anything. Well, there's always Soulcatcher. I did forget yeah. about that, and it'll be deployed now, along with the Shadow Poison. But uh, CTY is looking for opening. I think they saw it. They saw him there, standing at the tree. This is the exact opposite tempo of what 4Love want. 4Love want to be the ones doing this to Vici Gaming, not the ones on the receiving end. And they're not really equipped to play from behind too well. Well, they are because they have track hold. So they, ha they always have that, but in terms of their lineup actually taking 5v5 fights, they're not really good at that without items and a, a level yeah. advantage. Lone Druid totally counters what 4Love has. And we'll see. They could even. I feel they could go for a pretty early Roche. It's a Darkseer with no points in his wall. You have to figure he probably doesn't have any since he's only level 8. And even if he did, it'll last 15 seconds. I, I think it'll take him FY. quite some time. FY is getting hunted with a beautiful ice path. Catches two. Now a splitter to follow. And then the Cogs brings them both together into some sad times. KYL is going to TP out. He will get away. But that is the opposite of what they're hoping for. And all set up by Fenrir. Juggernaut. Just a split second slow on his Blade Fury, so got caught by the Ice Path and then able to get away was our noble Lashrac and Twin Headed Dragon. And AK, and oh, thing. not gonna get entangled. He TPs when he gets entangled. <sighs> this is not the type of game that 4Love were looking for, Winter. I'm not, yeah. what do you, if you're in their I, position I, right I now, what do you do? It's, it's because if the enemy team has the lone dude, they are able to create the tempo, five men pushing tempo and their heroes can't find any pickoffs. The Nice Talker and Bounty Hunter are totally nullified by the Lone Jute 5 men pushing down the towers. And I really do feel like Roche is an option for them. They're not going to go yet, but if they ever get even a kill or two, I imagine they'll go right into the pit or they're going to take all the tier 2s and then do it the next time. So They can do it. They can take their time, like you said, take out all the tier 2 towers before they head, head over. It's up to them. I don't think Tong, uh, For Love can do anything to stop it because of the nature of their lineup. And the one thing is, I mean, you look at the vision right now, you're running a, gank, a ganking lineup like this. You want to know where the enemy is so that you can go and find them and pick them off. And right now, I'm looking at the vision for 4 Love and they see not nothing, but far less than what you would like. You want to have aggressive wards, you want to see the rotations. All they really see are the heroes in the lanes. The thing is, their supporters are so poor. I'm sure you've because been there before. The it's not fun. Yeah, it's not fun at all. And when when your supporters are that poor, the lone jute bear comes up to you. There's nothing you can do but run. Ice path is there. Man, bounty hunter with an iron shell, and they're looking to go on him. Track will be thrown out. This Locks. is the fight they have to take. If they lose this fight, they'll lose control of the game. But here comes CTY. Watch for the hook. Look for the angle. He hasn't found it yet, but the hook could come any moment. Just waiting. Lurking. Prepared. Ready. CTY, is he going to go? Not yet, they'll just let the bear siege. If 4Love aren't going to fight, that's damn fine. By VG1, oh, VG Gaming. CTY comes in. No, not yet. Still waiting. Patiently for the hook. He, they're just fine to siege. And frankly, look at the bear. It's barely even taking damage. Yeah, Why force they can't, it? They can't, they can't kill the bear so easily. And VG is doing the smart thing by slow sieging the tower. Not taking any risks. Not trying to engage. Force to engage. Just dare to take the tower. They get Mission accomplished, and they go back and take the next tower over for Roshan. And like clockwork, they take the <laughs> pun not intended. They take the lane. They they take the tower. They deploy the lane wards. They deploy another observer ward on the high ground, and now they go for the tier two mid if they'd like. They certainly Look at can. The wards. They totally control the left side of the map. 
I mean, I've, I've mentioned this is the tempo that for love don't want. They want to be doing. Oh, okay, wait, I was going to get caught first by a nice path, then by some cogs and a rocket, a hook to come in. He's still on the run, but one more auto attack will bring him down. The surge is there. Able to get away just for the time being. Now Stormbolt flies through. Where's that entangle when you need it? Well, there's a nice path. That might do it a pinch. Gets disrupted. Zippo trying to bail his teammate out. 8Ks on the run. Can he get away? Track is being flung out everywhere, but. They're all running. They're not actually fighting. Even the silence trying to limit that bear. Give it a chance to miss. Will it be enough? Doesn't look like it. Well, in the end, they're just going to kind of chip away. Mid. They'll start working on the tower. The bear has taken some significant damage. Maybe it's time for some to send it home. No, he'll just resummon it. He just wants to go, and he wants to go now. They're going to work on the tier 2 mid. I don't know what 4Love do about this. There's still no points in wall. Hotsy's only level 9. Wouldn't do much even if he had it. The push continues. For love, really struggling. Again, nobody has items. The wall gets tossed out. A kind of a futile effort, it feels. Actually, forced to level it at level 9. Normally, you don't even bother until 10, 11, but it's a sign of the times, Winter. They really are desperate. Yeah, usually you just get it at 10 and 11, or you get it even later, but they are at such a position where they need everything they can get to defend the towers. For love, they've, they've shown an ability to start off decently in the early game. They've shown the ability to find kills, to rotate effectively, but at least in game one, it seemed like their ability to choose the correct fights and make the right decisions in the mid game wasn't quite up to snuff compared to what Vici Gaming has been able to exhibit. And to a certain extent, that seems to be the case this game. Although I feel this game, it's more just they don't have the lineup to fight Vici Gaming. Not with this kind of a start. Yeah, they re totally rely on a very strong start a lot of gangs by the Night Stalker and Bounty Hunter to be able to deal with what VG Gaming has. VG Gaming has such a strong 5-man push that if Fallout doesn't win the early game or doesn't get somehow get a good advantage from it, they will be having a lot of trouble defending their towers. I think the biggest thing as we look at CTY, just whoa CTY. buddy, man up into the entire enemy team, why the hell not? Then throws and out a three, battery assault. Three heroes there. CTY maybe expecting some backup that isn't here. Is he gonna hook away? No, he tries to hook, won't find it. Now the Stormbolt comes in, AK's on the chase, XTT on the run. Has CTY just got his team back. into a world of trouble? Hold buy back. That's a nice path that caught three, but where's the follow-up? TP comes in from CTY. Now a disruption. If Thor Love can get out of here, they gotta be happy with that, forcing out that buyback. 8k trapped in the cogs, he'll go down. Ice path once again catches three. That's two in a row for this fight. Now an Omni Sled that really doesn't accomplish much. KYO. On the run, or maybe on the chase with the Iron Shell and the Blade Fury. Will it be enough? No, he's going to be forced back. Ice Path, can, it, can we make it 3 for 3? Fender is fishing, won't find the angle. He'll back off. Now Hansi's in trouble. CTY going to catch him out as well. No, it's another Ice Path. 3 for 3. Call it a hat trick of, tr of Ice Paths for Fenrir. And now, maybe they think Roche. No, they got to get something more, I feel, off of that buyback. And yeah, they're going to go Roche. Yeah, those two it's a bit supporters risky, though. From, those two supporters from VG are absolutely beasts. They're playing so well. The last game it was FY, this game it was Fenrir with his Ice Path. He's really been playing like a monster and... I mean, it's it's Ice Path. It's not an easy spell to land on multiple heroes. It's got a long wind up to it. It doesn't kick in immediately. It's a painful spell to use properly, but he's been using it to perfection. Oh, they're scouted with the poison. And now they're gonna get it. They have a Vlad's up on ZSMJ as well, which is gonna make that spend oh, a bit tankier. Another Another track kill. Yeah, Fenrir gets picked off. That is a track kill going their way, but still a big gold lead, 7,500 right now for Vici Gaming. The key for thing for them is don't lose Roche. If they can get the Roche on. CTY, if they can get CTY is hooked, but he's going to be late to this, I think. Roche is dropping low. Healy Ward's in the pit. Rocket will scout it all out. Oh man, those cogs in the pit could be so bad. CTY waiting. Lurking a hook in now. Roche is low. Cogs catch two. There's your storm bolt as well. Roche still alive, but not for long. Is he going to hit the deck? He should soon. Everybody's focusing on CTY. A just picked up by KYO. Roshan killed by the Radiant. Call it a huge victory for Four Love and now CTY on the run. Where was the follow up? That looks like they wrapped around. Went for the stragglers and now KYO with that A just feeling confident, feeling manly. He'll go in. He does get entangled. He'll drop fast enough and rear. Looking for Ice Path number two. He's been on the buddy so far today. ZSMJ lurking with the bear. He comes back. The look to go and our juggernaut has to hope it out. Oh no. Three to hit the decks. Four Love. They did get Roshan and they got the Aegis, but now they're getting cleaned up. They lose that Aegis in a hurry. Still, when it's all said and done, Winter, I think for love are pretty damn happy with that team fight. There was one crucial thing in the team fight that they didn't have. The Omni Stash was on cooldown. It just went off cooldown moments ago. If they had Omni Stash in that fight, 
I think they would have taken another two oh, kills at least. Well, they oh, have it now, but this is not the time you want to be using it. Oh, KYO tries to make a play, and it looks like it may cost him his life. Root. Where's the root? root? Where's the root? There's the oh, root. Oh my god. CSMJ, clearly a good I lone his, druid player. His team will be very, very mad at him. Clearly a good lone druid player. Gets the root when he needs it. And now, they're going to take a tier 1 bottom on top of that. Well, he was trying to make a play, Winter. I, I, That's I what it came down he, to. He, he tried that. It was so risky. He wanted to be a hero. Instead, ends up giving away a kill. Unfortunate. Especially because he also uses Omni Slash, which is a very important spell, like you said, for them to take fights. This is a if, spell that lets them burst the support down very quickly. If they want to win a fight, they have to have every spell in their arsenal. If they don't even have one, they don't. They won't be able to take down the last shot or the Jakiro fast enough. The good news, of course, is that Hansi is close to level 11, so they'll have that level 2 wall pretty soon. Bear, scouting things out in the woods. It will be recalled back by ZSMJ, and now he's going to send it back in, or return back, I should say. They're scouting, they're lurking, they're not going to commit just yet. And meanwhile, middle lane slowly pushing in with those illusions of CTYs. He's tracked, but is he going to hook anyway? We'll see. Lurking, still not finding the opportunity he'd like. Maybe Omni Slash is 40, 40 seconds. CTY feels a little reluctant to actually jump. He's been not quite finding the right fights we saw earlier, just overextended. And now they're going to go. ZSMJ actually trapped his own hero in. Ice Pep is there. Maybe he's the one who's trapped AK in. And he gets disrupted. Wall low. Wall gets thrown out. Not going to do much against the bear. Hansi dropping to CTY. Now he wants more. They've gotten one. Can they get some uh, extra kills? They're chasing. Nice job by you. Kiting that Sven. BKB charge. He was purged. Almost entirely wasted, but now the chase is on. And it's the face rush lineup who are getting rushed. CTY jams it in. Hook connects from long range from downtown. They'll find KYO. And now Vici Gaming. They get the tower, they get a couple of kills, and they're gonna keep on pushing. They tried to take a fight without Omnisense again. Omnisense just went off the cooldown yet again. And it's also it's also the fact that it's a level one wall for Darkseer, and it's a wall against Lone Druid. You can't make an illusion of the bear. Wall doesn't really do much for you. Even a hero like Sven, you can't make an illusion that has Scott strength. You can't make an illusion uh, that you can't cast Warcry with your illusion, I should say. So, I mean, all things said and done, it's just not as strong as what it could be. There's not an anti-mage in this game. There's not a Luna. The wall just isn't doing much, and for love, not really able to find those fights. They'll try now, perhaps. Ice Pad catches two again from Fenrir. What is this guy drinking today? I'll have some of that too. Vici Gaming gonna muscle their way forward. They have Warcry cooling down to 15 seconds. More importantly, God Strength coming online now. And with the Vlad, they're tanky again with the hook. CTY connecting, standing, and delivering. There's a buyback from you. What can he accomplish? That's the question. He'll track CTY, and now it's AK on the run. Will he go down? Yes, he will. The Rocket Flare is there. Now KYO. Ice Pad again on two. Are you kidding me? Absolutely ridiculous Ice Pad so far. But the Cogs from CTY may... Uh, he'll let his team out. Now they're all going to retreat. Looked like they might have been off the mark for a second. But AK comes in. Finally, an Ice Pad that doesn't connect. Fenrir, he's used up his Juju Juice. And now he's going to have to run. VG Gaming in a headlong retreat. This is where Bounty Hunter, Darkseer, Nightstalker have to find kills. they got to oh, find a few. They're they chasing, get, no. they're chasing, but there's a buyback. Watch for the Jakiro, immediate entangle, and AK gets split earth as well. Dropping low will be disrupted. For the time being, CTY's the one we'll He's going to fall. Ready. That's a double buyback right now. A triple buyback, I believe, coming out from Beachy Gaming. Zippo entangled, still alive. Split earth is there. Triple kill for you. Ice Path has arrived. Fenrir, Carrier is here. Can he find some more Ice Paths? Unfortunately, it's got a cooldown. But in, when it's all said and done, how many bought back there? One, two, might get one four might by get Max, one. three on Beachy Gaming. Now Yu's on the run. He will just be able to get away. Surge to victory. Hulk comes in, fishing, but CTY not able to connect. Winter, a topsy-turvy fight looking at the gold graph. A slight advantage for Vici Game or for, for Love, but... It was three or four track kills there. That would be... Yeah, three or four track kills and Vici Gaming triple bought back. So they, they, they throw a lot at that fight, but... Oh, sorry, was that a quadruple buyback? One, two, three. No, double buyback on the radio. And now Vici Gaming is going to be looking at that Rax. The bear chipping away. Stun goes on to AK. They need a root. They need a bed. The Ice Path is there. It's a pseudo root and a pinch. Now the Blade Fury splashes through. Doing decent damage. XTT. Out of position. They got vacuumed into the cogs. Oh, that could be bad. But actually, it seems okay. XTT on the run. Maybe it is bad. Ice Path again. Clipping two. But where is the follow up? They just don't have it. Now they're all on the run. BG Gaming. They're beating the head against the brick wall. Out for love, it's a bend but don't break defense. Cogs again, 
tossed out by CTY, trying to blunt the aggression for Love. Continue to give chase. Can they find the kills? The Omni Slash you've been searching for, Winter. It's here. ZSMJ will fall. Another crit, another kill. And now it's going to be a headlong retreat. That Ice Path not going to be nearly enough this time around. It seems that Fenrir has used up five all his cards. This is going to be five track kills. Maybe not on CTY. He's not tracked now. He'll go down without it. But FY, short of fall, wants to man up, wants to trade. Will he find it? Kaio's coming in. He'll go down. He, he trades his life. But they get a team wipe. They get at least three or four track kills and the gold graph that was once I over 10,000 in total six or seven track kills and least. over the course of those two fights absolutely ridiculous three minute engagement you have to call it just a massive advantage for Vici Gaming and Winter I think the big difference there is they didn't have Aegis I feel if they had the Aegis in that fight if they hadn't lost the Roshan that's a much easier push for them but without it they really struggle they force the issue and they overextend yeah, the Roshan fight was very, very crucial. Having a push, pushing orientated lineup, having the agent just gives you so much more confidence when you push up the high ground. It's always tough against Chinese teams. It's something that LGD International have talked about. It's something that I know a lot of other teams think about is how to break the base in general. And then to do it against the Chinese team is always tough. You would have to say Vici Gaming had the tools to do it. They have a clockwork to initiate. They have a bat. They have a lone druid to bring the tower down. They have Warcry to help that bear tank the tower longer and Edict to do a little bit of additional damage. They have a good lineup for breaking the base, but they've just been unable to slowly chip away. It seems like they're trying to force the fights. And that's where 4Love is really punishing them. We'll see a hook mid. Catches 8k. He's going to be cogged out of the escape pad that he wants. He will be storm bolted. No. Disruption's going to dodge that one. Zippo able to save his buddy. Bail him out. Now the fight could turn around. Maybe. No, not just yet. Well, Zippo's been on point with his disruptions. He's really been turning yeah. the team around. He's been bailing the Night Stalker out in so many occasions with his disruption, which we didn't really talk about on the course of the whole game. Meanwhile, Vici Gaming, mean, look how farmed they are. Their Lashrak has a, a soul booster. They're huge, but they just can't seem to break the base yet. They'll try again soon, I imagine. Roshan's actually respawning in two minutes. So, Winter, my question is, do you want to wait for the next rush, or do you try and force it now? Depends on how confident they are. <laughs> if they wait for Rosh, there's a wall of replica level two, and now this is where the wall gets here. Yeah, now they, they, have a, they have a mecha as well now. Yeah, now it lasts for 30 seconds. This is much more difficult. And Night Stalker doesn't have ultimate now. And it's 8 a.m. time in Dota 2. Oh, in Dota Hook's time. gonna come in, catches out too. They were not ready for that one. Omni Slash is gonna blow CTY up. CG but dies. look at the AoE for BG Gaming. They find two. They need another entangle. They can't get it yet. Here comes your teleport. Darkseer is gonna buy back. Rejoins the fight immediately, but doesn't have a wall. All he has is Surge and Vacuum. And I think if you're Vici Gaming, you play this slow, you play this safe. They'll leave the bear on the high ground. They'll look for a Storm Bolt. XTT is going to be vacuumed in. Where's that Entangle? Where's that Root? Cannot find a Root. Can't buy a Root to save his life. Now the bear's taking some decent damage on the run. Will be driven back for the time being. Vici Gaming, they'll reset, they'll reload. They're going to go again. Can they break the base? Can they finally do it, Winter? It's round 15. I think, I, I think they can. Nice Stalker doesn't have ultimate when he respawns, and it's a long way before the next night, please. You know, the lineups are completely different, and this bears no other similarity to this game aside from the fact that IG versus LGD International, that one game where LGD kept on pushing the bottom lane with the lone druid, just could not break the base of IG. I felt IG had a much better base defense lineup, because I believe they had a bat yeah, rider. IG in had Keeper of the Light and Phantom Lancer. And a bat rider as well, uh, to, to find the pickoffs, I believe. But They're going for Roshan now. Abby. In spite of that, it feels kind of like that game where Vici Gaming just could aren't having a lot of trouble. Sure, it's not that long yet, but they're having a lot of trouble breaking the base. We'll see if they can actually do it with the next Roshan. They're not going to go just yet. They'll push mid. Winter, I feel Vici Gaming. This is an important game for them to, to show that they can struggle like this and then pull through in the end. Kind of a one of those games that can sort of define a team. Yeah, if you are able to win a game like this, it shows the character of the team itself. Let's see how good their morale is, how good their patience is. On the high ground lurks you as well as Keo. The tower will fall fast. Now Sven on the run. Actually gonna throw out a storm bolt. And a god strength will man up. Everybody He's dropping low. Again. KYO. Not gonna die yet. Nobody's going to. In fact, it's Bounty Hunter. Just tries to latch on to our Jakiro, but will be entangled. Brought down fast by that Sven, who now goes the other way. KYO, no blade here. Has an Omni Slash. Is he gonna try to Omni out of this? He won't. He eats a storm bolt. He eats a Sven auto attack, and down he goes. And Hook, oh, if CTY hits that, that might just be game. But he doesn't. They're still going to go bottom. Nice rotation. They won't try to force mid. 
quick reactions from VG Gaming. Can they catch a straggler? XTT? No, everybody moving as a unit. Five heroes to the bottom lane. Glyph is here. Wall is here. Vacuum is here. Catches everyone. Is it going to be enough? The bear still working on the tower. Will breed it down. Actually missing a lot because of that Night Stalker Silence. Finally will be able to take it down. Now AK. I cannot believe FY is going in here, but he doesn't have a choice with CTY. Blocking his retreat path. Maybe he could go all the way. He could, but he won't. He'll back off. The mech turns that around. Now they want to range racks. They'll get that too. And now now, I think at low glass, Vichy Gaming are going to go heal and take a second rush. They'll smoke that as well. Took, that took them so long. And it's not, again, it's it's just not like For Love have a good counter push lineup. Where is the AoE of It's just a Darkseer who stalls pushes. And still, the resilience, you have to admire it. I'm telling you the Iron Shell plus Blade Fury. I'm telling you. It's, I, I can't really argue with it. Speaking of that, we have not had a chance to talk about items, Winter, so let's do that now. Juggernaut has a Battle Fury up, is trying to take this a little bit later. Bounty Hunters had that BKB. We saw it in the last fight. Night Stalker going for one of his own, but I imagine the buybacks are slowing it down. And uh, as, for, as for Vici Gaming, they're getting pretty fat on a few core heroes. Yeah, with this Roshan, the Sven will be, will be able to play very aggressive in the next fight. Oh, he's not get CTY is getting the ADs. Really? I somewhat like it simply because the SMJ's hero should not be in harm's way, and XTT, if you die with God Strength, you don't come back with it, so. But I he think still it's does okay. a lot of damage. That's true. It's hard to say. Also, I what, guess in theory. What can, what can the Clockwork do? Well, I guess in theory, he goes in first, he dies, he comes back, he uses another battery assault and cogs. I'm not gonna okay. argue with you, Winter. I'm just I'm trying to play devil's advocate here. <laughs> <laughs> You're the boss, man. It seems like the clockwork is the position too now. Well, it's, C it's then again, it's CTY, right? This guy, even if he's not playing a carry, he gets the carry's treatment, the royal treatment, and he earns it too. He's played pretty well this game, I would say. Hit quite a few nice hook shots. Not his best game, definitely not his best game, but overall, I think he's been there mostly when they needed him, and they'll look towards, I imagine, the middle ranks. Assault Caress is now complete, and now the push gets really hard to defend. Yeah, Assault Kiras will make the tower go down so much faster. And the one problem is, you don't get that Assault Often when the enemy team gets something like this, you, you crit an illusion of him, you get your own Assault Kiras. Sorry, you won't get that here. Hansi's gonna oh, no. jump in, looks for a surge, a vacuum, catches everybody, but is it gonna matter? Ice Pass flashes through, on the back lines it's an Omni Slash, Fenrir dropping low, CTY on the back foot. For Love starting to pull ahead in this fight, CTY has Cogs, or no sorry, Cogs pulling down, Battery Salt is there, will deploy them now. Now the Cogs coming out, nope, not just yet, the chase is on XTT, stun, only catches one, like you said, Night Stalker's gonna buy back, rejoins the fight, vacuum, a secondary vacuum, they won CTY, remember he's got Aegis, it could end up working out. Bear is here when you need an AK, taking a lot of damage, but dishing out a decent amount of return. FY on the run, gets absolutely disintegrated by a genetic crit. Holy crap, did he melt. The bear still chasing, looking for a detangle. Where's that root? My kingdom for a root, says ESMJ. My kingdom for a disruption. Zippo, where's the disruption? Cannot, I'm oh, sorry, Zippo's on the radiant. What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> Lost my train of thought there a bit in that fight, but in the end, they defend, they don't even get to the base winter. They, they dealt a lot of damage with the iron shell on the bounty hunter and the juggernaut. That's how the damage output came. It was also a five hero vacuum wall. And even if there's not the best heroes to catch in the wall, that's still gonna hurt. Yeah, imagine if they had a follow-up there. Any form of stun. CTY is looking for a hook. Is he going to find it? Pump fake, pump fake, pump fake. He's going to swing and he'll catch Zippo. A prize that he wasn't he, counting on. He didn't want to, yeah. to get the Shadow Demon. Even though I think he could have easily killed him there. It wasn't exactly what he wanted and it was a bit farther in. Probably for the best he didn't catch him because Shadow Demon was waiting to disrupt KYO. That could have easily turned around as you can see. All of 4Love are still alive. With Track Gold Winter, there's always the chance for a comeback. Yeah, Track is the best way in Dota 2 right now to punish the mistakes of your enemy. FY gonna rumble towards the river and he'll run right into a bounty hunter. You has just been finding heroes time and time again, but this time he'll get hooked. Now the BKB thrown out and there's no response for that. Oh, he, he doesn't have a TP scroll. Well, but CTY doesn't have detection either, so he'll get away. No detection actually on the dire side right now. No detection at all. Everyone wants to get their items. Bloodstone on last shot. Well, what else? can you blame That's him? 11, 5, and 7. <laughs> I'd want some items too. He's earned these, man. He's earned these. But you're right, I, it's concerning. But Jakiro is only Bracer Gaming. 
And I, I love he's, I love what four love is doing. He's, bu by the way. he's bullying the Jakiro to buy all the watts and he gets the burst stone. It's the it's extinct in net all over again. <laughs> extinct says, I want my four staff, I want my blink dagger. Net, you're gonna sit on basic brown boots all game. <laughs> and Vichy Gaming, they're repeating that same abusive pattern here today. I love what we're seeing for four love. Taking the fight outside their base, they're gonna Let's do it again. again. Vacuum tracks there. They can bring FY down in a matter of seconds. There doesn't seem to be a way out. He isn't actually Ion Shell. Won't even matter. They still find the kill. XTT wasn't there. They've even gone for a blink tag on XTT. They just feel like they need more initiation. And they just can't seem to push in. It's the same yeah, story that we saw bottom. They got they don't have they don't have either one of the mecha or pipe. That's one of the important reasons as well. No one is building that. No mech, no pipe, and no really good stuns to deal with this juggernaut, I feel. I mean, cogs, hook. Oh, we're going to see smoke for four love immediately. Pedal to the metal. They're looking for a backstab. AK is going to lead the way. He'll find Fenrir. Tracks silence as well. This is going to be a quick, easy kill. Stormboat only connects slightly. Glancing onto AK. Omni Slash doing a decent job. Mostly tanked by the bear, though. Here comes your hook. CTY pushes everyone back. Doesn't bring anyone down. Sven's dropping low. Sven with that mask of will melt. Under the tower, we'll see another fall. Bounty Hunter to bite the dust. Now the bear is having his way with everyone. Root after root after root. It's Root City. Hook ain't going to connect. Meanwhile, we see FY on the hunt, looking for a lightning, can't find it. Now Zippo being driven down, being picked off by this bear. Two more hits should do the trick, maybe three. He'll actually go inside Ghost Scepter, but you can't TP while you're Ghost Scepter, or will cancel it. So in the end, he hunts the courier. He won't find that either. He finds himself a sad, lonely death, but wisely runs towards the enemy base to delay the impending push as much as possible. Yeah. And here comes that push. You, you can only Ghost Scepter TP if it's a boost of travel, but not a normal TP score. Buyback from Hansi. He's gonna try and defend this. No wall. Has the mech, but it's gonna be hard without this wall. Finally, 8k has his BKB. They're not making it easy. Say what you will about 4Love. Hasn't been the smoothest game for them, but they are a scrappy bunch. And they're fighting. They're duking it out. They're not giving up just yet. And I, I do feel like Vici Gaming... I'm starting to sense a little frustration with her. I don't know if that's just my imagination, but it seems like they're pressing. Yeah, they are pressing a bit too much, where they know they have a huge advantage over over for love when it comes to pushing and fighting as five because their heroes are just more equipped to fight in in a combat but they are not getting the fights they want to because of the fact of they lack the mecha and the pipe well they don't have a mech they don't have a, is it worth going for them now do you feel or should you still no. go for them or is it just too uh, late i think it's already too late the effectiveness of the mecha and pipe is greatly reduced right now. So well, if, if you're in their shoes right now, what do you do? Do you wait for the next Roche? Is there a certain item you go for? What's your game plan if you're Vici Gaming? They can't afford to overextend. They have to play it safe, get the next Roche. And I feel they are going to start to feel that uncomfortable with the position, even though they are still in the lead. But Incoming. after losing that many fights, you sort of feel that you're worried because there's a bounty on the track. Hook's... Whoa! CTY is going to say Hook's going to fly, but my goodness, this guy likes to jump at max range, and the BKB is there. Immediately as the root flies out, he'll splash through. Finally, Thank Sentry you. Ward is plopped down. Very late at that, I must say. Now a blink from XTT looking for a storm bolt. Won't find it. Here comes another Hook. CTY is just hooking him all the way back to the base. Bear going to town, having a party. Has a Bastion as well. Disruption once again to keep the Night Stalk alive. Now the Purge onto XTT to prevent him from dishing out any damage. Where's that bear? Where is that bear? There's your bear. Finding KYO inside of Blade Fury, bashing him again, and then rooting him further. No nice pet that clips too. This might be the end for Four Love. This is game two with them trailing. One to zero, VG Gaming. They smell blood in the water. They want Zippo. They'll find him. Bash Lord. What a Bash Lord this is. ZSMJ, bash after bash after bash again on top of extra bashes. Would you like some bashes on top? Well, he's getting them. And now they're finally looking at Rex. And I don't, there's no buybacks, Winter. This might be the end. Yeah, finally they take a good team fight and they're able to secure the win and it's GG already. Ice Path is there, not gonna actually connect because the Cogs pushed him away. Actually, I think it did and the Cogs pushed away and I just got confused by the animation, but they get two lanes of Rex, they can easily go for three and at the end of the day, 4Love don't have much counter push, don't have much way to leave their base and probably you're gonna lose three lanes of Rex here. It's looking like a, well I won't call it a clean, I'll call it a very messy 2-0 sweep from Vichy Gaming. Yeah, but you have to give credit to Fallout for not giving up and trying their best to make the game hard for VG. Hooks, CTY, pulling out his inner combo. Is he gonna find this one? No, he won't. What a troll. <laughs> CSM, ZSMJ gonna block that bear. 
Winter, after watching the series, do you think it's for love being surprisingly strong or Vichy Gaming just not being polished? Well, we'll have one more fight. I'll, I'll let you answer that in a second. Vacuum catches a few. Cox pushes him back out. Ping, pong. Now the bear chasing the Night Stalker. The vampire being driven back by the creature of light. Ice Path connects, catches Zippo. And ZSMJ waiting, lurking with the bear. The bear's not really in the right Ion place. Shells. Ion shells everywhere. Ion shells everywhere indeed. Now, well, the problem is the bear doesn't care nearly as much about the ion shells as anyone else. CTY is going to trap himself once again a vacuum. A pretty good one with that. There's your Omni Slash. Barely even clips the SMJ. It feels like it doesn't scratch. And boy, is he tanky. They'll find three at the end, but the buybacks will come out. A little chit chat from ZSMJ. And poor lover going to actually he's, jump. He's, he's saying that it's lagging. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought he was having a little fun. Whoops. And now they're going to finally take the throne. So, Winter. How do you feel after watching the series? Is it Vici Gaming a little shaky? Is it For Love looking better than you expected? How would you sort of rate what we've seen today? I think Vici has been not so stable in the second game. Probably just overconfident. Maybe. And they felt that they were in a very great position, but they overextended so many times, especially CT, where he hooked into a lot of positions where his team couldn't follow up. He was alone. He was trying to deal with three heroes at the same time. I almost felt like I was watching like a kid who just just learned how to ride a bike, and I don't know if anyone's ever experienced this, but you just learn, it's like, hey, look, ma, I can ride a bike, and then the next day, it's look, ma, no hands, and then your bike ticks over, tips over, you scratch your knees, you start bailing and, and wailing away, but ZSMJ kind of showing off, uh, or CTY, rather, showing off with the hooks, maybe got knocked over a few times, but he kept on getting back up, and so too did his team, Avicii Gaming. They'll take this best of three, two to zero, sloppy as it might have been. They take it nonetheless. They are now 2-0 in the Dota 2 Super League. They've notched another one to their belt, LGD China and For Love, both each having a single loss of their own. Both each. I think that's some good English today. And Well, it's been a long night for me, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the broadcast. Sorry about the technical issues earlier. And Well, XSplit not cooperating. Dota 2 not cooperating. Sometimes these things do happen. But we apologize and hopefully won't be happening in the future. I'm LD Beyond the Summit. I was joined here today by Winter. Winter, as always, it's a blast and a pleasure having you aboard. If they want to follow you, they can at twitter.com slash winterdota and twitch.tv slash winter. Any shout-outs or closing words for the viewers? Uh, I think this is beginning of ZSMJ return to his carry role. This is the first time I see him play two games of hard carries in a row. I think VG will be planning to show us more on ZSMJ, maybe a Medusa in the future. I don't know if I want to see it. As as great as this Medusa play was, the games... The uh... king of Divine Raiders. You, you always want to see a Divine on a Gyrocopter. What's wrong with a Divine on a Medusa? That's true. But, but it's like the... The, the gyrocopter provides you entertainment for a good 30 minutes. The the Medusa does not. <laughs> well, with that being said, we'll see. I, I feel... But Medusa is 700 creeps in 50 minutes. That's the entertainment. <laughs> That's true. The entertainment is watching the numbers go up. It's like going to the casino and playing the slots. All right, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Once again, I'm LD. If you enjoy my cast, you can follow me at Twitter. Twitter.com slash LDDota. But more importantly, follow the man himself, Winter. Twitter.com slash WinterDota. And tune in soon. We'll have more Dota 2 Super League. Not today, but coming up in the coming days. I think we actually do have a match tomorrow. But anyway, I'll talk more about that later. For now, this is going to be LD and Winter signing off. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you later.